A third case of coronavirus has been identified in the UK. Health officials are now trying to trace anyone who had contact with the patient. He was diagnosed in Brighton, but has now been transferred for specialist treatment in London. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Chinese ambassador has urged the British government to avoid overreacting to the outbreak. <laughs> after Britons were advised to leave China if they could. Any passengers attempting to escape from that train must be stopped. Shot and killed if necessary. I repeat, shot and killed. Our health and social care correspondent, Victoria MacDonald, reports. Patient number three, now in a specialist isolation unit in St. Thomas's Hospital, brought here from Brighton after testing positive for novel coronavirus. Two others fell ill last week in York and are now being treated in Newcastle. This latest patient, however, contracted the virus in Asia but not in China. So tonight doctors were told to test people if they came in with symptoms and if they have been to China, Thailand, Japan, Republic of Korea, Hong Kong, Taiwan, Singapore, Malaysia or Macau. Uh, we will be advising people from, who've travelled from those countries in the last 14 days if they get any of the symptoms compatible with the coronavirus then they should self-isolate. Attention, please. You have all been exposed to a highly contagious communicable disease. It is necessary that you be transported immediately to a quarantine site, a health camp in Vienna, Poland, where you will be kept under medical observation for a period not to exceed 21 days. The focus still remains on China, where 99% of the cases have been reported. The latest official figures are just under 600 people have died and more than 28,000 have been confirmed with the virus. Yet mathematical modelling shows there are likely to be more than 100,000 cases and many more deaths than reported. These are febrile times, with China's ambassador to the UK hitting out at the rumours and panic over coronavirus. This was widely seen as a reference to the Foreign Office advice to Britons to leave China. Have you formally or informally... Don't you fucking talk to me like I'm some kind of... ...approached the Foreign Office at any point over the past few days to ask them to review their request to British nationals to get out of China as soon as they can? Yes! Fucking please! Oh, you give a fucking aspirin and an eight pound! That parcel of pills has got to be worth five million easy! If there's no epidemic, then there's no need for the massive enterprise build up around the AIDS epidemic. Azithromycin or AZT was originally developed as a treatment for cancer. With the onset of HIV, however, we at Avonex Industries began a trial in which we administered AZT to infected lab animals. Initial findings suggested increased CD4 counts, restored T cell immunity. Isn't it also the case that there were some uh, troubling side effects with the animal tests? Uh, significant decreases in the red and white blood cells in the animals? Yes, but its effect on the virus is better than anything else that's been tested. Well, in 64, when AZT was developed as a cancer treatment, it was shelved due to lack of anti cancer efficacy and toxicity. Right. Well, we believe those problems were dosage based. So are you going to conduct another animal study? Actually, the FDA has given us permission to go straight to human trials, which is what brings me here today. We're conducting a double-blind, placebo-controlled, randomized trial throughout the United States. Dallas Mercy is one of the proposed sites. How long do you see the trial going on? No, we're hoping to fast-track it within a year, during which time the hospital and its administering physicians will be very well compensated for their efforts. Sadly, the AIDS crisis will only get worse before it gets better, and I know I speak for everyone at Avonex when I say this is a unique opportunity. Not millions, fucking billions. Giving people what they want. Good times today, 
stupor tomorrow. But where do these new pathogens, these highly dangerous germs, come from? Christoph Lubert is a doctor at Leipzig's University Hospital. So there's been a history of tolerance of prostitution. In fact, the mining companies invited the girls in to keep their 20,000 miners busy. He carries out research on the topic. Ten years ago, these pathogens were hardly known in Germany. Now, thousands of patients are affected. <laughs> We can transplant all kinds of organs and stem cells. We can cure leukemia and so on. Those are huge advances. But we can do all that and still lose a patient due to a stupid infection from some stupid germ that someone has brought back from an overseas visit, for example. Fear of germs, why these fucking pussies? A media circus, they want you to know Ebola has arrived.